Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm doing something a little bit different for me. I've never done a tag video before, but I saw this on Sarah's channel last night and she tagged anyone to join in with her and do it. And I couldn't resist because it was such a fun video. So I will leave the link to that one down below. And I am gonna tag Amy and Kate to also do the autumn tag video. So their channels will be at the bottom of this video as well. I just thought it was really fun and like I say, I've never done a tag video before and autumn is probably one of my favorite seasons and I loved all the questions. So let's get into that autumn tag. Before I answer the questions, I'm just gonna say that if you can hear a snuffly sound, my pug is having a sleep on the bed behind me. So that might be the noise that you can hear if you can hear that, I'm not sure if it'll pick it up or not. So the first question is, what is your favorite autumn color? Now for me, autumn just makes me think of beautiful leaves and like crisp autumn walks and crisp autumn days. So it's probably got to be like a sort of burnt orangey color. Um, I love looking out um, when we're washing up, we've got this gorgeous Acer tree in our garden and it's like a sort of burnt orange, coppery red. And when the sun shines on it, it's just such a beautiful color. Um, so I'm hoping that we'll get some more aces in our garden at some point. Um, so yeah, I just probably a burnt orange is my favorite color at this time of year. Um, all those like deep reds when the sun catches them, it just looks so pretty. Um, so yeah, um, I've got my autumn bedding on behind me as well with like orangey red leaves on it. So probably something like that. What is your favorite outfit to wear for autumn? Now I'm a little bit basic every year when it comes to autumn and it then creeps into winter as well. Um, I like things like jumpers, jeans and winter boots. That is my go-to for autumn because I just think it's so comfortable and practical. In the UK we do get a lot of rain at this time of year so you can still go out and be warm and that's probably my go-to like autumn attire. Um, a a jumper and jeans and boots. And the next question is, do you have a go-to handbag for autumn? And I actually don't think I do. Um, I've got some like going out handbags that are like berry colors and stuff, but they're probably more like what I would have gone to like a Christmas party with. Um, so it's not really an autumn handbag and I don't really think that I'm gonna be doing any going out this year because I'm a new mum and the only bag that I'm taking out these days is the nappy bag so not really this year no <laughs> the next one is about makeup it says do you switch your makeup colors for autumn if so what tones or colors do you use and i'd say that i do a little bit when it comes to autumn um i used to be a bit of a like i used to love mac lipsticks they were kind of my favorite back in the day and i would wear colors like syrup and craving which are sort of like berry colored lipsticks that i'd always start wearing when the autumn rolls around but i actually know makeup a little bit better now and i know that those sort of cooler tones don't always suit me so i do tend to go for like a warm color because my actual skin coloring is a little bit yellow undertone so i don't really suit cool tone makeup and um, which is great because in winter you can warm it up a little bit um so i've actually got on a old lipstick today which is morange by mac which i'm obsessed with so i'd say nowadays i go for something like a sort of pumpkiny orange lip um, because it just brightens my complexion up i don't have that much time to do makeup these days I used to really enjoy it back in the day. Used to wear eyeshadow and stuff like that, but I feel accomplished if I can get a bit of foundation, mascara and lipstick on nowadays. So I just choose things that are gonna brighten me up and make me look a little bit less tired. Um, but I'm really liking this lipstick that I've got on today. I've not worn it for a while. Um, it's really pigmented. Um, so yeah, orangey colors probably this year. What is your favorite scent for autumn? I had a little think about this one and when I thought of perfumes that I used to wear in the autumn, it would be something like Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay, which also I've had as a like home candle before and it is just absolutely divine. It's definitely one of my favorite Jo Malone fragrances. You can make your house smell all nice of that fragrance as well. Um, it's quite earthy. Um, but it's also kind of like a bit fruity with that like blackberry um, it always kind of made me think of like going scrumping in the fields and picking fruit and stuff um, so probably something was a little bit fruity um, but also quite warm and earthy the next question is do you have a favorite autumn meal if so what is it and 
when I think about autumn, I think about like warm, hearty meals and starting to cook things like soups and stews and casseroles. So an actual meal, I think that I usually start cooking when it turns into autumn would probably be something like a casserole. So sort of really hearty, full of vegetables and um, things like that. So that's probably my favorite autumn meal food. And the next one is, what is your favorite autumn dessert or sweet treat? And probably in the autumn, I associate autumn desserts with my mum's homemade apple crumble and custard or ice cream. Um, that just feels really autumnal and nostalgic for me. Um, Cause although I know you can have crumble all year round, but like um, my grandparents have an allotment and they give us lots of fruit and stuff. Um, and my mum just tends to make crumbles quite a lot in the autumn. So I think that's a really nice sort of autumn dessert and yeah it's making my mouth water thinking of it um so yeah probably a apple and blackberry crumble or something like that with custard yeah um, moving on to like television shows the next question is do you do you like to watch any autumn television shows or movies and we're not really like big on halloween in like in this family um but i do i don't mind watching some sort of like spooky um, Halloween-y movies but we don't really celebrate it much um, but the last two years we actually did watch Netflix's um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina or the you know like the Sabrina remake that they did and that was actually really good and we've got the last couple of seasons to watch that we were going to save for this time of year um, because I don't really like watching Halloween-y things when it's like summer and stuff so I guess you could say for the last couple of years we watched that and a kind of spooky Halloweeny movie that I always like to watch, but I haven't watched for years. Um, might try and get that watch this autumn is Sleepy Hollow because I used to love Johnny Depp back in the day, and it's probably one of his fav one of my best movies that he's in. Um, so I have to borrow that from my parents and see if we can watch that this year. But we don't kind of watch it like as a tradition or anything. But um, if I am going to watch it, it will be around autumn Halloween. Do you have any autumn traditions? And I had a little think about this one and I guess like in the UK like pumpkin picking has become like quite popular in the last few years but my son's only five months old so we've not really got into anything like that. Um, but when I think of like autumn traditions it kind of makes me think of like, I know it's a bit of a weird one but it reminds me of raking leaves in the garden with my parents and just being outside because in the UK in autumn it's probably like the last opportunity that you get to kind of be outside without it being perishing you can wrap up and I just remember the sort of crunch of the leaves and playing in the garden either helping my parents or hindering them I'm not really sure and now I'm an adult myself I always quite enjoy raking leaves I find it quite therapeutic so I guess that's kind of a bit of an autumn tradition um, even though it's a, a job nowadays because it's a bit of a responsibility looking after your garden um, and then I guess another tradition in the UK that we celebrate is bonfire night um, which is probably at the end of autumn like just creeping into winter but that's quite an autumn tradition um, quite often we'll go out on bonfire night wrap up really warm because it's so cold by it that's on the 5th of November usually or around then um, so yeah I guess that's a tradition that we celebrate um, or just like looking out if it probably this year we won't do anything what with everything um, but just sort of looking outside at the fireworks and um, huddling around a bonfire being all cozy um, I guess that kind of is a bit of a thing that we do every year um, here and the last question is what do you like to do in autumn and if you can't tell already for me autumn is definitely about being outside and just enjoying all those beautiful colours and definitely like autumn walks is my favourite thing to do at this time of year and like I just said being in the garden raking the leaves hearing that crunch under your feet as you go on an autumn walk like of the leaves is so lovely and just looking at all the beautiful colours um, I actually just uploaded a day out that we took to one of our favourite spots um, near us which is Bedgebury Forest and the colours there are just so beautiful um, so I'm really looking forward to lots of autumn walks with my little boy when he gets older 
Um, so yeah, probably just getting out in the fresh air and making the most of those days where it's not too cold and you can get out and about um, because when November rolls around, the temperatures start to drop quite a lot here, or they can do. So I'd say autumn is your last chance to sort of enjoy the weather here. Um, but yeah, probably autumn walks. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this autumn tag video. So I would love it if Amy and Kate would like to join in. I've tagged them and their channels will be linked in the description box if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and I'd love it if you subscribed if you haven't already and I'll see you again really soon for another video. Mm -hmm.